Jacob on, and yet again the spinner's on. So it's a little loud, but we've got our Jake bowl on. You can see the Carter's nice and kind of cleaned up. And when I do Jacob, so I have an even amount from this blue line to the blue line that just went into the Carter. It's an even amount of fiber on every feed. So that's one feed. And with Jacob, I have to do it lighter than a lot of the wools I do because it's super fluffy basically is why. Once it's picked out, it's a lot fluffier. So I don't wanna have, and because um, it just is how the fiber is. All the fibers behave differently. So where I, a lot of times I'm feeding 70 grams or so on each feed with the Jacob, I'm only doing 62. And it just leads to a slightly lighter roving, which down the way, once I start putting on the draw frame, it just works better for spinning. So. We're going to go around the other side here and I'll show you what happens. So you can see the fiber is starting to come off now. So I'm going to pause the machine and we're going to grab a little handful, but I'm going to put you on a tripod first. So I'll be right back. Okay. So sorry guys, I can't turn the spinner down, but I'll try to talk loud enough. So I'm going to go in. So I'm trying to make roping. So I'm going to just collect up. slide you just a bit. What I am doing is I am putting that little fiber, I'm going to feed it into this without blocking you completely and hoping that you can see. So I'm feeding this and basically just to thread the fiber through into the roving bed. So I've got a little, and I probably can't get a good shot of this, but I'm basically just going to try to feed it into this little guy there. So that we are connected and it will start to pull the road through it. And I'm just, you can see I'm kind of just connecting belts here. And then we'll get our roving running through. We don't need that extra fiber. So now we're set up in there. And I'll show you guys what I did there. So you can see, maybe you can see. You can't see. Okay, so now we're just ready to pull the roving. So I'm just gonna turn this guy on, make sure I've got the right feed on the other side. And there it comes, so that's the very beginning. And it'll get a little bit thicker, it's always a little light at first. So you can see now the roving is starting to get thicker. So I talked about feed on the other side and I usually let it run through about one, one and a half cycles of that feed and then we're ready to actually start calculating the fiber. And basically what I do is I just tell this how many yards, this is yards, I want it to run. And we go from there. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so we're here at the draw frame moving along with the Jacob yarn. And you can see I've got, so these are going in, you can kind of see how they align up in there, that there's three and three. And the reason I have three feeding in and then they're going into one, raise this and let you see. So 
So there's the three and three. And then they travel and they connect into one. And then they come out. And the we reason that we do that is that basically the more fiber, the more rovings you have going in together, the more that they're going to even themselves out better. So that's what's happening here. It's also blending the fiber a little bit and it's drafting the fiber a little bit. So the main point of the draw frame is to create a more consistent roving so that when we go to spin the yarn, we'll get a more consistent yarn, if that's what we want. You don't always want that. So that's what we're doing here. And this is its first round. And then we're going to run it through one more time. All right, so here we are. We're running two rovings on the second round. Same idea, just trying to make it more parallel, make it more even, and get it ready for spinning. So we've got them coming together. And then the machine just stopped because it got to the yardage I want. And I'm putting them into different bins because obviously I need to f I need to feed this into the spinner in different bins so it goes on to different bobbins. So I run for this batch I'll run three batches and get two buckets each. So since I'm doing a two ply, you kind of have to take into account how many plies you're doing, what your machine can do, that sort of thing. So spinning is up next. All right, so here we are. We're running two rovings on the second round. Same idea, just trying to make it more parallel, make it more even, and get it ready for spinning. So we've got them coming together. And then the machine just stopped because it got to the yardage I want. And I'm putting them into different bins because obviously I need to, I need to feed this into the spinner in different bins so it goes on to different bobbins. So I run, for this batch, I'll run three batches and get two buckets each. So since I'm doing a two ply, you kind of have to take into account how many plies you're doing, what your machine can do, that sort of thing. So spinning is up next. Hi everyone, so it's spinning. And I'm gonna show you because this is the second, maybe I think the third batch I've run of this. And it was being a real pill on the first day. And I keep a chart of all of my um, notes for all the yarn I spin so that I can go back, just reset everything, go for it. And this is, I guess, the third or fourth year that I am doing this yarn. So what happened that I realized after I did a lot of adjustments, I should have looked at this, so I'm gonna see if I can do this backwards. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see that that has a red color to it. Maybe if I, um, this one doesn't have a color and that one doesn't have a color. So I somehow, and I have to find my tool so that I can show you what happened. I had these, so generally, sorry guys, try to do this without getting you sick. So generally I have this one up like this which is clear, which means it's the least amount of control. This one, I just flipped and it's at green. And I don't know if you can see the color, but that's kind of a medium control. And then red is the most control. And you can adjust all three of these in all three spots. Well, I had this, and I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully you can see, I just am flipping. So I had green up here, which means it was putting more control or more kind of tension almost. Imagine if you were hand spinning or just had fiber going through your hands and your fingers are pushed together more tightly or pinched more tightly. So I need it to not be pinched tightly basically. So that was really the big problem. And then the front, you kind of always have it red. These two you can vary. Most of the time I have this at the lightest tension, this kind of in the middle at green, this at red, but it just kind of depends. So anyway, that was super fun to figure out that I had done that wrong because I was going, what the heck? I think I have everything set up, but it always is just remember to check everything every time. So I'm getting this lined up so that we can get, hopefully you can see enough as I get 
out of your way here, but I've got to just get the top going. So I've already got a couple of these ready to go. And I know now that this should run well for me because it's already run on the right sides, other batches. So everything should be good. And it's finally really good humidity. And this is just kind of been getting rain. And right now there's some rain and some sun and we're just getting it all. So prime, I think it was 64% humidity here in the mill, which is higher than it has been in many, many months. So exciting stuff. Also exciting because we're getting rain, which we desperately needed. So I think we have sun for a few more days. So I'm basically just, I think you guys have seen this, but it's always fun to kind of keep, you know, to see it. So, and if you ever want to mill, then you'll be like, I know exactly what I'm doing. I've watched him do it many times. So we're set up. And I am going to pause this so that you guys don't get the loud, loud effect, but we'll get it started here in just a sec. this woolly day. Next we'll uh, fly it, steam it, skein it, and it's done! See you guys soon. Take care! <laughs>